is your book, which I really do love. It's the Every Girl's Guide to Life. And you talk about a lot of things. You talk about everything from organizing to weight. You used to be 40 pounds heavier. Mm -hmm. I think we have a picture of you 40 pounds ago, which is crazy. I was like 30 pounds heavier, so, and it's hard, I'm looking at your body, it's hard to look at the imagine. pictures, but also it's hard from the pictures because I never took a lot of pictures at that time. I was in college and I wasn't really into, I don't know, taking pictures, I guess. So but that was you, that those, was in college? Yeah, those were size 12 jeans right there, but I got into 14s at one point, so. And were you concerned about it or are you No, just... I was having fun. You weren't? <laughs> I didn't care, I rocked it. You know what it is? It's like diabetes runs in my family. So at some point I was like, all right, I gotta focus here. Like I can't, I can't keep, I was having like food competitions with guys. I was like, I'll eat, I'll out eat you and I'll go have two ice creams later. <laughs> and I would. But um, I kind of figured if I was ever gonna do it, it was in college. I mean, I went from eating super healthy in my house. My mom always like from the garden, super clean and healthy because of my dad to college cafeteria all you can eat. And I was like, oh yeah. You went from freshman 15 to freshman 40. Yeah, and so, and then I just decided like I needed to, to kind of make a change so I didn't get sick and stuff, so. Um, so but you're I not just, a dieter, are you? I, I mean, hate diets. I do, I do too. Diets do not work. Do not ever say you're on a diet. I promise you, it just does not work. Saying tomorrow time. I'm gonna be good, I'm starting tomorrow. None of that works. No. None, and especially because you're Greek, you know how to eat well. You know how to eat fresh and, and real. Here it is, and nobody will tell you the secret. Just eat less. <laughs> and then when you eat less, that gets easy, eat a little better. <laughs> but eating a little less is sometimes hard for people emotionally. They have to understand, because that makes them feel restricted. They have to understand, eat what you want and don't feel like you have to be obsessed about it either way. You don't have to be like, exactly. And don't forbid. Go to bed. That's what I would do. Go when to I bed. wanted that an extra slice of pizza, I'm like, oh, I want that pizza. And I would go to sleep. <laughs> I did. I would totally go you know, to sleep. You'd be sleeping all day. Or I would like work. take a bunch of glasses of water down and I'm like, okay, it can't really fit anything in there it'd hurt right now. So I would like literally go to sleep or get my mind off of it. And little by little, like I would really just focus on that. I kept eating things I wanted to eat. I would still have Oreos and stuff, but I would just have a little less. And then when that would get easier, I started to replace the bad with good. So I was like, okay, instead of seven slices of pizza, I'm gonna have six. That you got easier than five. Lifestyle. And then, right. oh no, please, I would have large pizzas by myself. And then, you, um, worked, you, worked, you created a lifestyle Then you throw yourself. in some salads and then you start to feel better about yourself and you do it really slowly. I never weighed myself, I never did anything. Six months in, I was like, my, my boyfriend, Kevin, looked at me, he goes, Marie, your clothes are getting bigger. You look like you've lost some weight. I'm like, no, I got on the scale 20 pounds. I was like, ah! <laughs> that's, that's great. This is amazing. I love it. It's the Every Girl's Guide to Life by Maria Menounos. Check it out. You're such a wonderful Thank guest. You. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you.